everyone. Welcome to today's story time. The book I've chosen for you today is called When Arthur Wouldn't Sleep. It's about a horse who lives in the same field as Marvin the sheep who we met a couple of weeks ago. Arthur doesn't like being told when it's bedtime and he decides to see if he can find a place where he doesn't have to sleep. He ends up floating off to a place in the clouds. I wonder what happens in the story. I hope you enjoy it. When Arthur Wouldn't Sleep Come on, Flora, Arthur said. Let's play jumping. Shh, Flora mumbled. It's bedtime. Go to sleep. The butterflies weren't sleeping. The bees were busy buzzing and the grasshoppers were jumping all over the place. I don't want to go to sleep, grumbled Arthur. Arthur gazed up at the clouds. The more he gazed, the more funny shapes he saw. Then he started feeling very light. Slowly, he started going up and up and up. Soon, he met a hippo. Where do you want to go? The hippo asked. I want to go where no one goes to sleep, Arthur said. Off safely. This is your stop, said the hippo. A ladybird was waiting for Arthur. Come with me, said the ladybird, but don't forget, no sleeping. Soon they arrived at a party. What a party! It's time for the amazing Crazy Legs dancing competition, Grasshopper said. They danced and jumped. Arthur joined in too. The ladybird bounced, the sheep pranced. And the grasshopper skipped and hopped and twirled. They jumped and danced until their legs felt like jelly and they couldn't dance another step. Who was going to win the amazing Crazy Legs dancing competition? The grasshopper said, and the winner is Arthur. Do another dance, Arthur. Arthur was very sleepy. I have to go now, he said. I've got to tell Flora that there's a place where no one goes to sleep. Up he flew over the fields and back to Flora. But Arthur didn't tell Flora about the place where no one goes to sleep. Because in the morning, he'd forgotten all about it. Wake up, Arthur. Time to get up. 